Hello, I'm back for basically a Carrara basic, a 3D Studio Max car modeling tutorial, part 26. So where we left off, we finished the entire body. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the side windows basically right here of the car. So I'm just going to go in isolation right here. I'm going to go into all my pictures right here and see what does the side of the car looks like. So something like that, not a very good picture I would say. Something like this is what we want to try to do, is something like that. Just trying to find a very, very good picture of what the side of the car looks like. So, that's what the side of the car looks like. <laughs> <coughs> This is what the side of the car looks like right here, pretty much. <laughs> side of the car. <laughs> this is a good representation of the side of the car right here is this. Say we would use, let's say this right here to do our side of the car. And we would use this as a good representation for the side view mirror right there, I think. So, right here. So this is how we want to try to do the side view mirror like this. So, So we're going to go into here and we're going to do this side on this car. So first of all I'm going to start off by going into here, doing the window that's going to go right about here. So. I'm probably going to go into here, go in the side, go into snap right here, right here, go into here and go into plane right here. Right here I think, go down to right here I think. Go into here, toggle that, I think. Select that, I think. Move that down right about there. Now I'm just going to go into here and select this. And now I'm just going to go... Uh, Convert to edible poly right here. Select this, I think. Move this right about here. And move this right about there, I think. Like there. Move that right about here, and we're going to be doing the window of this, I think, right here. Select this. Move that right here. So we're going to select this. Move this out right about there. Move 
move that right about there. Move this right about here. And now I'm just gonna go Swift Loop right here. Move that like that. Like that. Go into here. Left view right here. Move this right about there. Move this right about here, I think. Move this right about there. Right about here, I think. And now I'm just gonna go into here, go object property. I'm gonna lower it down the capacity to around six right here. Move that right about there. Move this right about here. Move this right about here. Move that right about there, I think. Move this right about down there, I think. So we have that right about there. And now I'm just gonna go into here and add another Swift Loop right here. Another Swift Loop right here, here. Move that up like that. Move this in like that. Where that's completely straight. Like that. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this and moving that up like that. Move this in right about there. And I want to basically cover this entire thing right here. Just like that. Well, that covers that right there. So we have this window already done and ready to be used. So we have that which this is very, very fast, I think, to do the window. And I'm just gonna go into here. Go. Extrude, extrude settings. Bring it to zero, zero. And just click, click the check mark right there, move that. Right about there. Like that. And now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to select this entire thing right here. And now we're just going to go into the constraint along edge. We're going to move that down right about there. Like that. And then we're going to move that like that pretty much. So we have that edge ready to be used right there. Turn off constrain edge. Like that.
like that pretty much. So we have this thing ready to be used right there. Like that. Like that. So that's the side window right there I think. So now what we're going to be doing for this is Guess what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the ledge right here that comes across right about So the ledge that comes across right about here So I'm just going to go out of this Select this and I'm going to go lower down capacity and lower this down to about 5 and do the exact same thing for this. Lower, go to object properties, visibility, lower that down to 5 right there and I'm just going to go to the side right here and now I'm just going to go into here I think out of there and now I'm just gonna go edge selection and I'm just gonna go into here and like that go edge selection Go into here and I'm just going to hit extrude right here. Extrude and just move that out right about here. Lower that down right about there. And just move this in right about there. So I cover that window right there. Actually, I'm probably going to end up using this polygon right here as mainly as a basis. So I might end up taking this. I have an idea about doing this. And I might end up taking this. And I might end up... Just let me get this in place. Gonna use this as a basis right here. First I'm gonna go into polygon select mode. How much time you have? 13 minutes. I'm just going to go into object properties. So what I did is I went into right click. Object properties. And I'm going to lower down in capacity to 5 again. Right about there. So that just seems just about right. So I'm just going to go into here. And I'm just going to go into here, lower that up like there, right about there. So we have that. So now I'm just going to go into here, and I'm just going to go to this polygon right here, this poly this polygon right here and I'm just going to go into edit clone right here copy and I'm just going to go into here and I'm just going to go into here and go in vert selected and I'm just going to go delete here 
polygon select and I'm just going to go delete right there. And just select this. And I'm just going to go it into face select mode, extrude polygon select, go zero, like that. Select that right there. I just want to get this the right wrist. Kind of like that. So I want to have that to be the right wrist right there. The right wrist right there, I think. And I'm just going to go isolate right here. Like that. So I'm just going to go into here. Edge select. And I'm just going to move this out like this. Like that pretty much. And I'm just going to go into here and go cap hole right there. Just going to go swift loop right here. Swift loop. Swift loop. Swift loop right there. Swift loop. Just gonna go out of here, object property, lower down the capacity to bring up the capacity all the way to 10. Go in isolation right there. Select this, go into on go into right click object properties, bring up the capacity all the way to 10. And we have that already ready to be used. And we just have this. So what are we gonna do with this? So what I'm just gonna do is go into polygon select right here and just move that in like that. Where this doesn't barely cover this like that. Like that. So we're gonna move that in like that. And we're gonna move this like that pretty much. Right about there. Or this thing is not covering and intersecting with this. Which that's what we don't want. Isolate. And I'm just going to go into here. And isolation. Like that. And now I'm just going to go into here.
and I'm just gonna go into here and isolation and isolate right here move that right about there move right here and I'm just going to go into here like out of there go and isolation and isolation so I have an isolation right there Select this and isolation, and I'm just going to move this down like this. And I'm just going to go into here, Swift Loop, add a couple of segments right there. Do I need that? Probably not. So I'm just going to leave that the way it is right there. And now what I'm going to be doing right here is I'm going to be doing the side window of this. So I'm going to be doing this time the side window that's going to be used for here is the side window. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up going into Going into here for this. Going into here. Going into here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go clone this. And I'm going to go into here and hit clone and edit. Edit clone. No, not like that. Edit. I hit delete by accident, but I'm going to hit edit clone. And I'm just going to go into here and I'm just going to go invert selected, edit, invert selected. And then I'm just going to go into, the, into here, this one. Actually, I'm going to select that. Go into edible poly right here. So I only want this piece right here. And then I'm going to move this. right about here and I'm gonna move that right about there perspective I'm gonna put that at perspective actually orthographic view actually going to get hit isolate and actually I'm going to go into here I'm going to select this, this, that and that and that and that and hit isolate right there and isolation and I'm going to hit that and hit Isolate. And I'm just going to go into here. And I'm just going to move this up like that. Where this is covering this literally like that. 
And now I'm just going to go into here. And I'm just going to move this up right here. Right here. Move that up right here. this right about here move this right about here move this up right about here and move this right about here. Move this like this, I think. Move this right here. And I'm just going to go into here and hit swift loop. Right there. Move that up right here. Move this right about there. that up right about there. And move this right about here. move and we're gonna hit extrude right here and we're gonna extrude this right here move this down right about here Move that right about there. And move this and do another swift loop right here. Move that up right here. Move that right about there. Now I'm going to select element right here. And select this entire thing. And now I'm going to do the actual side right here, which is the window right here. It's the window piece right here. So I want to try to do this the best way. I'm just go into here, a swift loop. Like that. Like 
that. And I just want to hit right here. Strode. Just move that right about there. Go into here. Scale that like that. Actually, I'm going to actually put a swift loop right here. Like that, and I select, move this right about there, <sighs> and now I'm just going to move this right about here. And go swift loop right here. And go isolate. And just go swift loop right about here. Like that. Swift loop, like that, like that, like that, and isolation, and I'm just going to go out of here, isolate, and let me try to see what's actually out there. Almost done. Slip loop. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And isolation. Uh, and now I'm just going to go into here and go into here. And now I'm going to select this entire section right here. And I'm going to make that entire piece right there. So what I'm going to end up doing here, good question, is I'm going to do this piece that comes out right about there. And now I'm just going to go top. And now I'm just going to construct an actual go into geometry. Construct an actual box. Turn this on. Like that. Like that. And I'm just going to go out of there. Turn on move tool.
go into edible poly right here go into here Go into here, select that right there. Right here. Move that down right about there. And now we have that selected. We're gonna move this up right about there. And now I'm just gonna go into here. right there I'm just going to go into here, edit this, move that right about there. going to go into edge sweep right here going to go into here and I'm just going to go chaffer like that edge and I'm just going to go loop right there loop I'm just going to go delete go into border right here like that and I'm just gonna go cap hole like that and now I'm just gonna go swift loop
my god. And I'm just gonna go isolate. Isolate. Swift loop. Like that. I'm just going to go out of here and isolation. I'm just going to go attach. Just going to go in here turbo smooth. Isolation. I'm going to go into hierarchy, go effect pivot, turn this to zero, zero, like that, and I'm going to go effect a pivot again. Now I'm just going to go copy copy, y-axis, like that. <clears throat> and now we have the windows all done right there. So now what I'm just going to go into here, select this, select all of these. and isolation and I'm going to actually end up going into this to the modifier and I'm going to turn this color to be a dark gray like that like that or I'm going to put this to be a lighter gray like that and that's what the windows look like on a car Now the only thing I had to do is a side view mirror and that's it on this car. The, the side view mirror I would have to do, what else I would have to do? After the side view mirror I think I'm going to have to do the antenna right here and then I have to do the actual side view mirrors that's going to go right here so I have to do the side view mirror that's going to go let's say for example right here what else but I think that's pretty much it that's what it looks like so far the only thing I have to do right here is go into here and this is probably the longest tutorial I did so far, so I'm just going to go in isolation, isolate, and I'm just going to go into here, edible, edge, 
and I'm just going to go into here and add Swift Loop right, right about, add a Swift Loop. Like that. And now I'm just going to go into here, add Swift Loop. And I'm just going to go out of there. And isolation. And I'm just going to go isolate right here. And I'm just going to go save like that. <clears throat> I'm just going to go save like that and that's already saved and I'm pretty much done this tutorial so I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope I've helped you out.